Playing music is part of civilized humanity. Music is so important to us for thousands of years, the last 20 of which have seen an incredible shift. Online streaming music. What started out as music piracy become an $11 billion industry, making up 56% of global music industry revenues. And one company has become the clear winner globally in terms of paid subscribers. Spotify is where everyone is at. Today we are going to see Spotify's CEO lifestyle and net worth. But before we get started, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Daniel X is a Swedish technology entrepreneur who founded a music streaming service Spotify and who has a net worth of $4 billion. Daniel X was born in Sweden in 1983 and has been a serial entrepreneur since he was a teenager. Daniel's love for music stemmed from the seed sown from his family itself. His grandmother was an opera singer and grandfather was a jazz pianist. He already could play the Swedish nursery rhyme Lila Snigel at a tender age of four. His love and involvement for music intensified when in secondary school he was allowed to combine two of his favorite subjects. Music and technology took advantage of this opportunity. He installed the internet and the Owing Youth Club and jumped into the business world beginning at age 13 when he started a business making websites for clients for his home. Daniel charged $100 for his first client, then he charged double from the next client who asked $200 and continued like this until the business grew so much that he eventually started charging as high as $5,000 to satisfy the increasing demand for his skills. He hired the students from his class by bribing them with the video games to work on websites from the school's computer lab. His team soon grew up to twenty-five, and his monthly earning to a whopping $50,000. At age 16, he was earning more than his mechanic father just from designing websites for local companies. In pursuit of a career in technology, Daniel tried to get hired at Google, but he was rejected because he didn't have a diploma. Undoubted, he tried to create his search engine, but his attempt was unsuccessful. After graduating from high school, Daniel did a brief eight-week stint studying engineering at KDH Royal Institute of Technology. The college was too boring for Daniel, he dropped out in his first year. Daniel later worked in several companies, including eBay and Startle. Watch, so you haven't yeah. banned the <laughs> yeah, products right. themselves, but uh, the Wall Street Journal is reporting that they're going to take over. In 2006, Daniel started another company at Vertigo, an online advertising company. Daniel sold at Vertigo to trade double in 2006. He became the CEO of uTorrent, working with uTorrent founder Ludwig Strigas in December 2007. When uTorrent was sold to BTorrent, the sale of Ad Vertical and his previous work made Iggy wealth enough that he decided to retire at age 23. Later, Daniel I contacted Martin Lawrence on an ID nerd with whom he co-founded Spotify, an app that allows the users to listen to any music in the world at a cost of short advertisements. In between, in October 2008, a company officially launched Spotify at first. Spotify ran on a peer to peer distribution model but switched to a server client model in 2014. Daniel serves as CEO for Spotify. No matter the cost and effort, the story, the careers of a lot of working artists. Daniel used his old school trick to hire young graduates from KDH Royal Institute of Technology to work on Spotify. The team first worked in a small office in Reader Garden in Austin, Mom, Stockholm. Before its official launch in 2008, Spotify received a huge positive response from all over Sweden. The company targeted one country at a time at a pace that helped them to focus on particular regions completely to provide a better quality and huge playlists. AK's plan was to create an innovative business model for providing access to music online different from other services in that it did not involve charging for song downloads. Spotify customers could listen to online streaming music for free if they were willing to allow display or audio advertising. For $5 to $10 a month in subscription fees, however, consumers could avoid the advertisements. From the outset, the music industry expressed little enthusiasm for AK's innovation because Spotify's license to stream music earned the industry far less revenue per song than it got for a music download service such as Apple's incorporated iTunes. EK retorted that Spotify discouraged online music piracy by providing a low-cost alternative and that the service would, over time, generate substantial royalties for the music industry. Despite such reservations, Spotify launched in 2008 and quickly became popular with both users and investors. 
actually how many streams the artist had. Um, and as a consequence, they started asking. By 2010, venture capital money was beginning to flow into Spotify, and some analysts estimated that, that the service potential value was as much as $4 billion. Hard, but they're having fun. I guess that's the main idea of it. And in 2012, Spotify had 18 million songs and more than 20 million monthly active subscribers, though not all were paying subscribers. Five years later, however, the site featured more than 35 million songs and had nearly 160 million monthly active users, more than 70 million of whom were subscribers. Amid this incredible growth, EK oversaw Spotify's initial public offering in April 2018. In an unusual move, the company offered no new stock and instead only existing shares were made available. Not just be branded, but like feel a bit more human in a way. So I remember like going to a... After the first day of trading, Spotify had a market value of about $27 billion. The day the current status of Spotify is about 286 million users playing some 50 million tracks around the world. The company has more than 130 million of whom are paying subscribers in 79 markets. Spotify success over other music companies. Apple dropped iTunes and created Apple Music. Amazon created Amazon Music. Google created Google Play Music and then YouTube Music. Jay-Z even formed his own service called Tidal, which focused on professional sound quality. People are listening and how successful is the company? Let's discuss this with senior music editor at... But Spotify kept its spot at the top thanks to its freemium model, where users can listen for free with ads or pay for a subscription without ads. By the end of 2019, Apple Music had 60 million paid subscribers worldwide. Amazon Music had 55 million subscribers worldwide, nearly all of which were paying subscribers. Chinese company Tencent had 39.9 million paying subscribers, while Spotify had 124 million paying subscribers. In 2019, Spotify announced it was moving its music focus to a more general audio focus to broaden its offerings and widen its global lead on competitors. It acquired a Joe Rogan experience nearly in 2020 and banned exclusive podcast deals with Kim Kardashian and DC Comics. The company's stock jumped 8% at the announcement of the Joe Rogan acquisition alone. How COVID pandemic increases Spotify users? Spotify was one of the few companies that weathered the storm. In fact, Spotify's stock increased 70% from the beginning of January 2020 to the end of June 2020. They benefited from COVID because the lockdowns forced people to stop listening to radio and they discovered Spotify while stuck at home. Daniel Egg Recent Project Spotify CEO said, I will devote 1 billion euros of my personal resources to enable the ecosystem of builders to achieve the European dream over the next decade. In your pocket, uh, you start listening to a lot more music than you ever did before. I will do so by funding so-called moonshots, focusing on the deep technology necessary to make a significant positive dent and work with scientists, investors and governments to do so, he added of new music coming onto the platform that people can come and check out and of course new The pledge came after Egg explained his desire to see more big European companies saying Europe needs to raise its ambition. Egg highlighted healthcare, education, machine learning, biotechnology, material sciences and energy areas. These types of moonshots that he is currently aiming about, he said at least, when I talk to the scientists and entrepreneurs, they often face no funding options because these ideas may be too early to bring in venture capital. And as technology becomes more ever present, the consumption behavior... He said, so I definitely think we can do a lot more for those types of opportunities here by giving them our own personal resources. Egg already set out a team for this purpose to invest the money and wants to work together with a community to some companies. Nevertheless, Spotify is still very much a success story. So this is all about the Daniel Ek net worth and lifestyle. We hope you like this video. Please don't forget to press the notification bell icon for more other videos. Till then, goodbye.